Hello and welcome to our very special kickoff webinar on how to navigate your way through our new quotes module. My name is Tara and I'm joined today by my colleague John, who will lead today's webinar and walk you through everything you need to know. If you have any questions throughout, just throw them in the Q&A and I'll either answer them on the fly or at the very end. So without any further ado, take it away, John. Great. Thanks, Tara. So the agenda today will first start off, especially if you haven't used quotes in the past, with what quotes are in Excello and when you would use them. Next, we'll look into some of our new features that we just released today. First, how to now customize the look and the feel of your quotes without having to do it every single time. Now we have the concept of templates. So looking into not only some of the new features on what we can do to make the look and feel and your quotes awesome, but also how to set up those multiple templates. Then we'll spend the back half of the session um, actually setting up a live quote, going through the sales process and showing how those quotes can then convert to projects. Like Tara said, if you have any questions on the Zoom um, little box on the bottom, you can click the Q&A button and ask questions throughout. If we can throughout, we'll, we'll pause and answer them. Otherwise, we'll save the last uh, few minutes of the session to go through any questions that you may have. So to kick it off, what are quotes in Excello? And quotes are a, a way to put together your estimates for project work and really quickly convert those estimates from the sales side of Excello into the project side of Excello. So here we have Tara, who's our, our client, and this is the, the wheel of the entire ServOps platform. Where quotes fits in is the, the new business or the uh, bringing on the proposals of new client side. You should use a quote uh, any way that you want. <laughs> One would be if someone has contacted you, maybe it's a referral or from a website, and just wants a quick estimate for your services. That's one way that our customers are using quotes. On the other side, maybe you want to put together a large proposal and you're trying to win a new business. It's not a current customer of yours, and maybe it's a, a few month long sales process. That's another time that you can use quotes in Excel. So what we'll first take a look at is how you can design the look and the feel of your quotes. And specifically, now hopping into the new features of the quoting templates and how we can start templating the look and feel of our quotes that we send out. So the way that we get to quote templates is through the configuration gear in the bottom left-hand area. We'll navigate down on the left-hand side to quotes. And if you're familiar with the quoting section, you'll now see that there's a new area called quote templates. So for those of you who haven't gone to the quote template list and have just come in for the first time, what we'll do is we'll create a first new template for you called default template. This default template is fairly similar to the classic style that you're used to if you've quoted out of Excel before. So within the quote template, we have some settings on the top relating to uh, accounting and expiry dates. And then here in the default content section, this is really similar to the edit content section that you may be used to when you're creating a quote, being able to put in an introduction, a conclusion, and the terms and conditions. Where this now differs is we're not only able to uh, customize and template the introduction and conclusion, for your quotes, now we're also able to have different templates with different introductions and conclusions. And we'll talk more a bit later about that. What we're also introducing on the right-hand side is merge fields. So this will be able to more personalize and give more context to the quote rather than feeling like a really a boilerplate template that you copy and paste it in. We can pull some related fields, especially a customer contact information that will make it feel more personal. The last part of this is able to have an email template. So now, or at least previously yesterday and before, when you're sending out a quote, you may have been copying and pasting an email or writing a new email every time. 
what we're trying to do is, is have you save a lot of time when you're writing new emails and able to template similar to the introduction, conclusion, and TNCs that you see above. So that's most of the content side. Now, if we want to look at how we customize the, the look of a quote, we'll go to the preview and edit PDF section. And what you'll find on the left-hand side is really similar to the quote settings that you may be used to, able to customize style and what you show. But we've introduced some really powerful new features in this. So the first is able to define the theme. You may recognize uh, classic is, is one of the current settings. Changing some information on the header style, I prefer clean, and that's the default one. Changing the heading font. And then finally, we've introduced the ability to start uh, branding and bringing in color into this instead of having everything as gray. So if I was a, a red brand, I can bring that in here. So next up on the, the service items, here we're able to show what we want to share with the customer on the services side. So in this case, I'm showing all the information, the tasks, the milestones, and the, the rates as well. And this would be really common if you're doing a time and materials with a really detailed work breakdown structure that you want to share with the customer. On the other hand, you might want to change it up and make a fixed bid where you hide and you roll up everything. You can do that now. The material side, we can show these and we can even hide materials if we want and if we're not quoting for them or if we don't want to include it in the quote. Tax information now has the ability to put in a manual tax or a rate and template that, and then just a file name for what the file and PDF will be. And similar to the previous page with the merge fields, able to customize and make it feel more friendly, we have merge fields here, so we can bring in more information than just what we see here in the default template. So first of all, that's a big step up from what we, we had previously of being able to template everything and save you a lot of the time without having to copy and paste introduction, conclusion, and all the pieces of the quote. Now, what we've also introduced is the ability to make now multiple templates. So some common things that we're hearing from our customers is, well, for our website projects, we like to quote for a certain thing, it has a certain explanation in terms of conditions and it has us all these sets of images whereas if we're doing a social media or an seo and sem campaign we want to have a lot different content and a lot different looking feel and being able to differentiate those is really important for us and likewise an implementation is a lot different than a service and a managed service contract that you're sending out so being able to have multiple templates we hope will save you all a lot of time and also make your products and services feel a lot different from each other. So the customer feels like you're, um, you have a, a large catalog and you're very professional in what you send out. So what we'll do is we'll create a, a new quote template. Let's say it's for a digital transformation project. And I'm going to make it fixed fee. So here in the introduction, I have some text to pull in. By copy and pasting, it strips all the formatting. So what I can do now is put in some. Maybe I want to make it more personal by pulling in different information from the company and the first name of my contact that I'm sending it to. So 
So just by clicking the title there, I'll be able to copy and paste it. And of course you can manually write that in as well. And let's pull in some imagery into this too. Drop in a conclusion. TNCs are already there, but in this case, this is the entire terms and conditions. So we're not going to be traveling. We're not going to be having to worry about IP or anything like that. So I can delete most of the TNCs to just focus on the type of product that I'm offering. And I'm going to make this more casual than a, than a high. Next step will be putting together a style. I like most of this, so let's just clean it up a little. And then on the services side, like I said, I would want to have it as a fixed fee project. So I'm going to roll up all the milestones in the tasks, which is giving me just the project. Then I'm going to hide all the information there. And in materials, we're not quoting for any materials, so I can hide that as well. In this case, I'm going to show a bit of the milestone information just to give some context to what I'm working on. All right, great. So now we have two templates, a default template that we use for most of our services, and then a new quote template anytime we have a customer looking for information about our digital transformation services. Now, so what we'll do next is we'll create a live quote. And if you recall, quotes are created from the sales section. So we're going to drop into a sale, um, create the quote, and then send it out to the customer. So here I'm in the sales section. Here are all the sales that are currently in the pipeline. And at any time in the sale, whether it's the beginning or very end of the process, I can send out quotes. So it doesn't have to be exactly like how I'm about to show. But for a lot of our customers, what they've done is they've customized the statuses here. So for example, in the quote requested phase, we'll probably send out quotes at that stage. So what we've seen is it's helpful to have filters on the left-hand side with the quotes requested in a quote sentence area that corresponds with have we sent the quote out and tying it into a sales status. So here we can see that there is a, a new opportunity for Delta Airlines. And the two way to send out quotes is firstly, you can create a related quote for the sale, which just creates the quote underneath the sales. And then you'll see here on the left-hand side, this is my preference, is to add a quote through here. So you can see any past quotes that we've already sent. In this case, we had a, a webinar this morning, so I've already gone through the full process and converted it to a project. In most cases, if it was an initial quote requested, we wouldn't see anything here. And here in the quote template, we have our two options. And though I selected the digital transformation fixed fee template, at any time I will be able to go back here and change the quote template. If say I just wanted to change the format or I accidentally selected the wrong one. So most of the rest of the process is really similar if you're used to using quotes. The first is adding the estimate phase, which allows us to drop in a project plan. 
if I was quoting for bespoke work, I might add all of my milestones and templates and the, the cost of them here in the project plan. But since we're doing digital transformations fairly often, what we see a lot of our customers doing is creating project templates. So what these do is project templates, if you, you haven't set up any, is it allows you on a quote to drop in a full project plan with hours and dollars and the entire project delivery. But we don't have to share all that. As you saw on the quote template, we're hiding a lot of that information, especially the, the hour budgets and our fixed fee quotes. Now what we'll be able to do is in the future skip this next step, the edit content, because we've done all the templating that we've wanted and had all the custom merge fields automatically come in for us. But if at any time you want to edit the introduction or the conclusion or the TNCs, you can do that from here. As well as the project plan, we can pull in the descriptions for the milestones and phases, which is helpful in the coding phase if you want to let your customer know exactly what you're planning to do. So you can see most of this was coming in from our quote template now. Here in this last step, it will bring us to what the PDF is going to look like to the customer. So you can see here, it's looking a lot like that quote template. Now we're pulling in the merge fields. Tracy is our main contact there and we're sending this off to Delta Airlines. It's a fixed fee, so we're not sharing any of our internal pricing or our estimates. All we're doing is sharing what we'll do at each phase and giving a total amount on the bottom. But if you do want to change things on the fly at any time, you would be able to come in here and make adjustments. So now let's shoot this off to Tracy. Looks like it's still building. Normally it goes a little faster than this, but it looks like we're, we're upgrading in the background as well. So let's see what happens if we just override it and publish it. All right, great. So in that case, if we didn't want to directly send it to Tracy, maybe we wanted to internally review it, I would just click publish like I did there. And here, when I send it, the, the quote template um, for the email will, will come in here as well. If I click publish and send, we would have the same area come up. What you'll send down here is two options. One of including the PDF, which we just generated. And next is including a client portal link for Tracy to go in, see the quote, and sign off on it. So if Tracy gives us a ring or we have a sit down with her and she says, yep, good to go, or emails us back, we can on her behalf make the decision of accepting or declining the quote. But what I wanna do is just hop over to the client portal and show what it looks like from Chasey's point of view. So Tracy would have gotten a link in her email and it would have brought her to a specific place in the portal. Right now, this would be if Tracy just randomly logged in on a, on a given Wednesday and came into here. And what we can see here in the quote is a digital transformation quote that's published for Tracy to, to sign off on.
Now, as Tracy, I can come in here, look through the quote, make sure everything looks good. Even make comments if I need to edit a specific area. And then accept or decline it. So now that Tracy, our client over at Delta Airlines, has accepted it, if I come back to my side of it, we'll see that it's been accepted. That will also notify anyone who's actively working on the sale to be able to come in and, and move the sale or the quote along. And then the last step in the quoting process is converting this into a project. So what will happen when I click that convert to project is it's going to take a quote from the sales side and automatically create a new project for your project team, your consultants, your strategists, your designers, developers to start working on. So what it's doing in the background is it's taking that project plan that we put together in the create estimate area and then it's transitioning it into building a, a live project for you with the exact same project plan on the back end. So if we were to go to edit plan here, it would be the exact same plan that we put together in the quoting phase. So hopefully this will save a lot of time and a lot of back and forth and putting together those estimates on the new business front and then actually getting them into the project management side and delivering them on the projects front.